What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Bandai Mecha Godzilla 2004 Heavily Armed Type. Now, before you get on me and say, hey, this movie came out, Tokyo SOS, by the way, uh, Godzilla Mecha, Godzilla Mothra, Tokyo SOS. Uh, came out in uh, November of 2003. I just, I, I'm, I'm just going by this card here where it says Mechagodzilla 2004, so I'm not exactly sure why it says that, but you guys can let me know if you know more of the details than me. Uh, I do remember, recall like Final Wars being 2004, so I, d I don't know. Maybe it was released here. I'm, I, why would that be on this card then? Uh, here's the card. Very nice card. Really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. There's the uh, Japanese movie title and movie monster series logo, which is nice. The inside, if you want to see any of this stuff. Um, I use the hairdryer method to get this out uh, of him, courtesy of Steven's Toy Reviews. Um, just hair dry a little bit, maybe like 30 seconds or so on high. Boom, take it out. Uh, I did run this under cold water afterwards because it got super soft on this one. Um, if you saw my HLJ haul last week, I got a lot of vinyls in. So just before this review, I took out all the cards and I you know, was able to save the card. This card was a little bit uh, warped anyway. But there you go. This is the Tokyo SOS version, the heavily arm type or heavy arms, Mechagodzilla heavy arms as we saw in uh, SH Monstarts. This is the SH Monstarts version. Oh, and his cannon fell off. That's fine. Um, but yeah, see that's the differences there. As you can see, he's not helping me out here. I love this piece, by the way. It's a very, very cool piece. So, anywho, but I just wanted to show you. Ah, you know what? Let's do our size comparisons. Let's get it out of the way. Here is, uh, you know, his opponent, Godzilla 2002 from uh, SH Monsters as well. We just reviewed that guy. Um, here is uh, <laughs> Godzilla's tail. Such a big tail, still in the way. The uh, Mega kaiju or should i say mini kaiju from hero cross and uh pacific room 2 also reviewed yesterday here is rodan from sh monster as well again i have no clue why this guy is here um maybe i should put him back here is uh shin godzilla from the super deformed series and Let's go with uh, Evolution Toy Fireman. So there you go. There's a bunch of size comparisons for you. So this is a Bandai vinyl, uh, and as you know, they're very limited articulation. Let's get it out of the way. Heads on a swivel, shoulders swivel, no articulation in the legs whatsoever. Tail swivels. Uh, I think does the waist swivel? No, no waist swivel. There was a cut back here, that I could see, but nothing in the front. So there you go, no waist swivel. And that's it. That's uh, all his articulation. So and really, really not much. I'm surprised there's no leg articulation. Um, I was really surprised at the package. I feel like this is one of the least articulated uh, of these types. Uh, but I don't know. I guess I haven't gotten too, too many of them. But yeah, that, that was surprising. That was very surprising, no articulation there. But you get a lot of good sculpt there, which is awesome. Uh, so why don't we start right there? Like the sculpt right in those legs looks tremendous. And I do like the gun metal paint in there. It's not like super dark like we saw with the uh, SH Monsters, but it's it's there enough to variate it from the, the silver. Uh, and it looks good, it looks real good. I have no complaints with any of this paint in here. Uh, and then you see it in here, which is very clean. The sculpt is really nice. I gotta say, I really like the sculpt. Uh, looking down his legs, you get some little bit of red paint there. Not perfect, but not bad either. Pretty good there. The knees are sculpted well. The rest of the legs are sculpted well. We got the gunmetal paint in here. Oh, one of my lights. There we go. Having a little bit of trouble last 24 hours with uh, 
my light going off. It's the uh, the cord. So anywho, not important. But channel update. <laughs> Feet look good. The gunmetal in uh, the bottom of his legs here look real good as well. I mean, they really did a good job with with that. And to uh, you know, give you the last bit of gunmetal, you get a little bit in here. Oh man! Come on, guy. Come on. There we go. So yeah, that's the first time it's happened though on 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 camera. Sad. Um, so, getting back. The sculpt here on the chest looks real good. I like it. The sculpt in here looks good. These uh, rocket cannons are sculpted very, very well. You know, I wish it wasn't quite like this, where it's just like these little uh, booster jets in here totally get lost in this all this excess uh, plastic I don't like that in particular wish this was in here there was they could have cut away on this and you know honestly if I wanted to I could cut away on that too um, but eh, it is what it is you got these spikes here which again are connected to that otherwise the uh, the back looks very nice really good sculpt his dorsal fins look really great really really great actually so very nicely done, uh, going all the way down the tail. There's nothing wrong with the sculpt here at all. Beautiful, no paint, uh, which is a shame, because you. I really like this paint, and I would love it in, in these parts as well. That would be really nice going down the tail, but it's a Bandai vinyl, a cheap Bandai vinyl at that, <laughs> so I'm not surprised we don't get it, but I feel like this guy could have used just a bit more. Uh, as far as the paint goes, just, I mean, you already got, you know, the, the gunmetal going. Keep it going, you know, keep it going. It needs it. The arms look good, except for there's no paint on it, except for the silver, you know, which is, I'm sure, it's silver plastic. It's not painted. Um, it's good looking silver, by the way. Really good looking silver, that's for sure. Eye catching. Uh, and the sculpt is really nice, so, you know, a little gunmetal picked out on here. Would be good. Um, I might do it. I might do it. I might take a brush to some of this because I feel like a lot of this detail could be brought out nicely. And because this is kind of light, I feel like, you know, applying some paint like this won't be that hard. It wasn't that hard for them. They did it pretty well. That's why I, I want more. I want more, guys. That would be nice. But the hands look really good. The arms do look good. And his head sculpt is pretty, pretty good. You get a little bit of paint right there on that little arrow, both sides, and then you get the yellow eyes, which looks good. It does. You know, I really don't have a problem with it. His crest is nice. All this stuff is nice. Again, you could put some more gunmetal in there. It would have been nice to pop it out, but it's in the back. It's not so bad. So yeah, at the end of the day, just a some more gunmetal, and I'd be happier it I mean I'm happy with it I'd like it I do want just a bit more just a bit you know <laughs> I'm not asking for a ton because um, I, I do understand that at the price point you know like you're not gonna get a ton but a little more would have been cool so and the leg articulation surprise you know I don't really need it you know because again it's a vinyl but I I, I don't mind it <laughs> so there you go uh, that's it uh, that's my review it's still a really cool piece, and uh, I think, you know, under 20 bucks, whatever it is, 15 bucks, you know, it's definitely worth spending the money on it. So, there you have it. Alright guys, that's all I have. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time, peace out, peeps.